everybody and welcome back to Ms. Zewer's Kindergarten Classroom. So today we are going to do a read aloud and our read aloud today is called The Teeny Tiny Teacher by Stephanie Clemson and illustrated by Dennis Roach. So we're going to read this story. What I want you to think about is what is happening in our story. Where did they go? We're thinking about sequencing. So what happens first, next, then, and last. So I want you to think about it while we're reading and um, I'm gonna ask you questions while we're reading, so let's dive right in. All right. Once upon a time, there was a teeny tiny teacher who taught in a teeny tiny school in a teeny tiny town. One teeny tiny morning, after taking the teeny tiny attendance and singing teeny tiny morning songs, the teeny tiny teacher said, who would like to take a teeny tiny walk? Me, called all the teeny tiny students in their teeny tiny voices. The teeny tiny students put on their teeny tiny coats and their teeny tiny hats. They made two teeny tiny lines, holding teeny tiny hands as they walked to a teeny tiny park. There they all are, walking in the park. So where did they go first? So they went for a walk and they went to the park. Good, yes, yeah, so they went on a walk and went to the park. At the teeny tiny park, they found many teeny tiny things. Teeny tiny leaves, teeny tiny sticks, teeny tiny rocks, and teeny tiny feathers. And the teeny tiny teacher found a teeny tiny bone. I will save this tiny bone for our teeny tiny science lesson, said the teeny tiny teacher to her teeny tiny self. She put the teeny tiny bone in her teeny tiny pocket. So what did they find at the park? What are some things that they found at the park? Good, they found rocks, they found leaves, sticks, feathers, and the teacher found what? A teeny tiny what? Yeah, a teeny tiny bone. Ooh, see what they're gonna do. When the teeny tiny class got back to their teeny tiny room, they hung their teeny tiny coats and their teeny tiny hats in the teeny tiny closet. The teeny tiny teacher forgot all about the teeny tiny bone in her teeny tiny pocket. Who is ready for our teeny tiny snack? Asked the teeny tiny teacher. We are, said all the teeny tiny students. While the teeny tiny teacher was filling teeny tiny cups with juice, a teeny tiny voice whispered, give me my bone. Ooh. So now they're back at school and what are they having? Good snacks. So first, they went for a walk. They went to where for their walk? The park. Next, they came back and are having lunch. Good, yes. Good job. The teeny tiny teacher smiled, thinking a teeny tiny student was playing a teeny tiny trick on her. Someone is being a teeny tiny bit silly, said the teeny tiny teacher. Then she handed out the teeny tiny cups of juice and passed around teeny tiny cookies. The teeny tiny students were enjoying their teeny tiny snacks when the teeny tiny voice said a teeny tiny bit louder. Give me my bone. Oh, oh goodness. I wonder who is wanting the bone and where it's coming from. Hmm. Let's see. Back and turn the page. The teeny tiny students were a teeny tiny bit frightened. They spilled their teeny tiny cups of juice and dropped their teeny tiny cookies all over the teeny tiny floor. Someone is being more than a teeny tiny bit silly now, said the tiny, teeny tiny teacher. With her teeny tiny hands on her teeny tiny hips, teeny tiny students who have something to say must raise their teeny tiny hands. A teeny tiny student raised her teeny tiny hand and said, 
The teeny tiny voice came from our teeny tiny closet. Teeny tiny closets do not talk, said the teeny tiny teacher. Then she helped her teeny tiny students clean up their teeny tiny room. Now they're cleaning up the room. So first they went to the park. They found a couple things, came back and had snack. Next they are cleaning up their room. When the teeny tiny room was a teeny tiny bit tidy, the teeny tiny teacher said, who would like to help me write a teeny tiny story about our teeny tiny walk? Me, said all the teeny tiny students. They were taking turns telling the teeny tiny teacher what to write when the teeny tiny closet started to shake and rattle. And the teeny tiny voice called out a teeny bit louder. Give me my bone. <gasps> Ooh. A teeny tiny story. This morning, our teeny tiny class went for a teeny tiny walk to find many teeny tiny things. So it's the closet shaking. Shaking, shaking. Hmm. Now, the teeny tiny students and the teeny tiny teacher were a teeny tiny bit frightened. They hid under their teeny tiny desk. They had been hiding just a teeny tiny time when the teeny tiny voice called out a teeny bit louder than before. Give me my bone! Uh-oh. Who do you think is in the closet that wants the bone? Hmm. What do you think? Oh, maybe. Let's see. Let's see if you guys are right. Eek! This made the teeny tiny teacher and her teeny tiny students a teeny bit more frightened. So they hid a teeny bit farther under their tiny teeny desk. They were shivering and shaking a teeny tiny bit when the teeny tiny voice called again a teeny bit louder. Give me my bone. Uh oh, blew the roof off, he was so loud. Oh goodness. He was like flying out of the school. The whole school got picked up. Oh no. The teeny tiny teacher was not about to let teeny tiny voice frighten her. Teeny tiny students another teeny tiny minute. So she popped up from her teeny tiny desk and shouted her loudest teeny tiny voice. Take it! Oh, ooh. Somebody's peeking out of the closet. What is it? I wonder what he is. Is he a ghost? I don't know. Hmm. Let's see. After that, the teeny tiny teacher and her teeny tiny students never heard the teeny tiny voice again. Oh, it says... Teeny tiny ghost story. Ooh, so what was in the closet? Yeah, the, a ghost was in the closet. A teeny tiny ghost, and he wanted what? The teeny bone, yeah. And that is the teeny tiny end. Oh, so he's playing with a dog. So what happened first? So let's think about our sequencing. What happened first? Good. So they went on a teeny tiny walk. Then what happened? They went to the park. And then after the park, they well, they found a whole bunch of stuff. And then they went where? Good. Back to school and they had lunch. After lunch, they were writing what? A little story. And there was... What in the closet wanting the bone? A ghost. So at the end, the ghost popped out of the closet and flew away with the bone. Ooh, I would have never thought that there, that was a ghost. Because they did not pick up a ghost at the park. He must have followed them home with that bone. I don't know. All right, so your assignment today for reading is I would like you to... Watch this video and then, you, obviously, because it's the end, you watched it. But you watch this video and then afterwards, I want you to um, 
draw a picture of something that you might find at a park. So we talked about what they found. They found leaves and sticks and pebbles. Um, it's found a bone, but I want you to draw a picture of what you found at the, what you would find at a park if you went there. So that is your task for today. You can drop it below in the comments or send it to me in Dojo. So that is, or take a picture and send it to Dojo. But I just want to see it. Um, or if you can't send it to me, take a picture, um, then just describe what your picture is about. That would work too. So do your very best. I love you all. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you soon. Bye.